Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. How are you tonight? Hello, Giselle. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Oscar. Yancy, Sumara. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, David. Hello. I'm fine. Good to know that you are fine. So, my name is Ever Nieto, and I'm going to be the facilitator of this English course. So, be welcome to this English class. I'm really happy to meet you tonight. And I hope that we have a great time learning English. And I want to know, right? Do you prefer to call Miss Jancy, Miss Xiomara, Mr. Oscar, or by your name? Like Xiomara, Oscar, Jacqueline. So which way do you prefer? De que manera prefiere? I prefer Jancy, teacher. Okay, Jancy. Good evening. Uh, hello, Jancy. Good evening. Professor Xiomara. Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara. I prefer Giselle. Giselle. Okay, thank you. Hello, I prefer Lourdes. Lourdes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, Graciela, Rubén, Rolando. Hola, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thanks. So, so, it's nice to meet you tonight, all of you guys. Welcome again. And let's start with the class, right? And we're going to start the class with some information, right? About homework and evaluation. So, let's start with this. Here we go. I'm sorry to start speaking about homework and evaluation, but do you know that it's important? You know that it's really important, yes? So I'm going to share it with you. Let's give me a second. I'm gonna share this presentation with you. Yes, please let me know if you can see it. Can you see the presentation? Yes, I see. Okay, let's start with this information. As I said before, homework and evaluation. So do you need to achieve at least the 80% of the homework and evaluation, right? If you want to get a diploma at the end of this course, you need to achieve at least the 80%. El 80% es lo que usted necesita para obtener su diploma, ¿verdad? So where we are going to find the homework and evaluation? ¿Dónde vamos a encontrar las tareas y evaluaciones? Y todos tenemos acceso a la plataforma, ¿verdad? De inglés corporativo. Y ya intentaron entrar. ¿Quién ya entró? ¿Quién ya revisó si sí puede ingresar sin ningún problema? Ah, ok, Sumara, Stephanie, Jacqueline too. So if you have any problem accessing to your account, in, to your profile on the platform, right on the WhatsApp group, right? And tell me, right, I have a problem, right, with my profile. Then we are going to find the homework and evaluation there. And it is important that we work on these exercises right after the classes, right? Si pueden trabajar, ¿verdad? Justo después de la clase en las tareas y evaluaciones que están en la plataforma, nos va a ayudar mucho, ¿verdad? Para que usted vaya al día. Usted tiene que terminar antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro se envía al INSAFOR cada semana. Entonces, es importante que vayamos trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma. No importa ¿verdad? si usted se adelanta, no hay ningún problema si usted decide resolver 
algunos ejercicios que aún no, de algún tema que aún no hayamos visto durante la clase. Al contrario, de eso le va a beneficiar porque al final va a terminar antes, ¿verdad? Y si en el proceso usted tiene alguna pregunta, puede hacerla en el grupo de WhatsApp o antes de, la, al inicio de la clase, usted puede preguntar, mire, tengo problemas con este ejercicio. No importa que sea del tema que estamos viendo o que sea un tema que usted decidió resolver por adelantado. Usted puede ir adelantándose en la plataforma sin ningún problema. Si hay algún material de apoyo, se lo voy a compartir por el grupo de WhatsApp. So, do you have any question in this part? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta en esta parte? Let me know, please, if you have a question. No question, teacher. No, teacher, no question. Okay, thank you, no Giselle. No question, teacher. Thank you, Simara. Let's go to the next, then. Uh, let's see, we are going to cover the contents of this course in this way. Week number one, we are going to work on section one and also in section two. In week number two, we are going to work in section number three and also the mean term. Week three, we are going to work on section four. Week four, we are going to work in section five and also the final exam. Here are some rules, right? Some kind of rule that we need to follow in order to have a great class. So be careful with this, with, this, with the mutes, right? Uh, be, careful, be careful with your microphone because sometimes um, we can listen, right? Uh, the news, uh, soccer match, or whatever you are watching or listening. So be careful with this, right? And then let's see, you have to use your full name. You have to turn on your camera and you have to participate, right? You have to have an active participation during the virtual session. You can use the chat. You can uh, see, raise your hand if you have a question and respect. Respect is important, right? Si vamos a preguntar, si vamos a hacer un comentario, siempre con respeto, por favor. ¿De acuerdo? Y usted puede participar las veces que quiera. Puede hacer uso del chat. Puede levantar su manita virtual. Esto es para que tengamos una clase más ordenada y aprovechemos más el tiempo. Let's go with the next. Su asistencia, 80%, ¿verdad? Y a lo posible de no perderse en ninguna clase. Solo si es de extrema um, emergencia, si es una emergencia, si se fue la luz, se fue el internet, ahí sí ni modo, ¿verdad? No podemos hacer nada. Eh, pero eh, trate de estar el 100% para que no haya problemas con su asistencia. No olvide que tiene que avanzar en la plataforma. Si no, el trabajo se le acumula. Al final, eh, va a haber una fecha límite para que usted entregue resuelto todos los ejercicios y evaluaciones de la plataforma. Si no lo va haciendo gradualmente, se le va a acumular el trabajo. ¿verdad? Y va a ser una maratón al final del curso. Eh, dígame, Oscar Aguirre, ¿do you have a question, Oscar? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. I, I... Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. Tell me. Okay, I apologize because in this moment I can turn on the camera because my connection is on the stable. Okay, I understand, right? I understand. Just tell me, right? Just okay. tell me. Okay. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Oscar. So, nuestro horario va a ser de 9 a 10, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m., right? And the class lasts 60 minutes. In this is important, work on the exercise, right? Work on that, right? So at the end of the course, you, you aren't going to have any problem, right? To get your diploma. Any question about this? No. No question, no okay. Question. Okay, intenten por favor accesar a la plataforma. Si alguien no lo ha intentado, do it, please. Uh, creo que es su correo, right? It's your email and also 
y la contraseña. Ahí se las mandaron por correo. Inténtenlo. Si tienen algún problema, eh, no duden en escribirme. Con gusto le vamos a ayudar a resolver los problemas que usted tenga en la plataforma. During the class, if you have any question, ask. Right? Ask. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta, hágala. No duden en hacerla. No se vaya con esas dudas. Then let's start with today's topic. We are going to study this topic. How often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercise? What's the meaning of this question? ¿Qué tan a menudo hacemos ejercicio? Okay. Now what's the answer? How often do you do exercise? That is the topic for tonight. And we are going to learn how to answer this question. How often do you do exercise? So let's start with this. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to ask and answer questions using adverb of frequency. Do you remember about adverb of frequency? Which are there? Who remember one of these adverbs? Nobody? Do you remember about the advert of frequency? Usually. Always. Thank you. Usually is one. Always is another one. Rarely. Rarely. Yes. Any other? Do you remember? I do, I do exercise two times a week. Ah, okay, perfect. We can answer using time expression too. I, I see. I Mara. never do exercise. Oh, never is another one. I never do exercise. Let me see. I have one answer here in the chat. And it says sometimes. So Juan Francisco says sometimes. Sometimes is another advert of frequency. We are going to remember the, but before of that, look at these activities. What is it? What is this activity? Running. Okay, it's running. So how often do you run? How often do you run? In Spanish or in English, con que frecuencia sale a correr? And then you say always, usually, never. I never. <laughs> okay, never. Let's see the next. What about this? Ride a bicycle. I never bicycle. Ride bicycle. I never ride a bicycle. I never ran, say Juan Francisco. Let's see the next. Yes, tell me. I can't ride a bicycle. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I can't. Who can? Who can ride a bicycle? Usually, in my case, teacher, usually after the class, I ride on, on bicycle. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So, alguien que le ayude a la compañera a montar en bicicleta? Any volunteer to help her? Let's see the next. Next. Oh, how often do you lift weight? How often do you do this activity? Lift weight. Nobody lift weights. It's the next then swim. How often do you swim? I swim. Okay, I and the last activity. What is the name of this activity? What is it? What is it? This soccer. Okay, play soccer. Yes. And I have one answer here in the chat and say I never learn swing. I never can learn swing. Okay. Nunca pude aprender a nadar. I 
can't swim. No puedo nadar. Nice. So we are going to learn how often do you do these activities. And during this class, we are going to learn how to answer this question. Vamos a aprender a responder esa pregunta. How often do you, how often do you run? How often do you ride a bicycle? How often do you lift weight? How often do you swim? And how often do you play soccer? So let's go. And we are going to start with this small conversation. So you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weight for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Any new vocabulary in this small conversation, guys? Let me know, please. Is it new vocabulary here? In my case, no, teacher. Uh, skating. What is the meaning of skating? Crush potato. Okay, thank you. So let's see. The first one is you say inline skating. Es patinaje, ¿verdad? Patinaje en este tipo de patines. Inline skating, like in the pictures. That is inline skating. That is the name of the sport. Patinar. And Coach Potato. Coach Potato, it's a name that we say to the people who stay a lot, um, sitting a lot on the coach. Coach means like sofa. It's a synonym of sofa. And Potato, Papa. So, alguien, alguien que pasa solo acostado en el sofá. That is a Coach Potato. Any other question? Yes, if we can translate the phrase, we're going to say sedentario, una persona sedentario. Any other, any other question? I have a question, teacher. Tell me, Suleyma, what is your question? What does it mean I live way for an hour? Let me see, what is it? I lift weight for an hour. I lift weight es levantar pesas. Yo levanto pesas por una hora. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, what is the meaning of almost? Do you know the meaning of this? I almost always. Casi siempre. Thank you so much. Casi siempre me levanto. Tarde o temprano. What's the meaning of early? Temprano. Thank you. Yes, you are right. So. Always. Always. Ah, usted siempre se levanta temprano. Siempre. That's nice. Yes, teacher. Always means siempre. ¿verdad? Todos los días a las cuatro de la mañana ya se está bañando. Always. Let's see the next. Uh, often. I often go in line skating. What's the meaning of often? Nobody know the meaning of this. I often go. Casi siempre. Yo suelo ir. Okay, muy bien. Con frecuencia, suelo ir frecuentemente. Now let's see, five times a week. What's the meaning of this phrase, five times a week? Alrededor de cinco veces a la semana, lo sé. Okay, muy bien, that's excellent, thank you. So let's listen to this. Oh, what about this one? I hardly ever exercise. I hardly no. ever exercise. Casi nunca hago ejercicio. Difícilmente hago ejercicio. Okay, casi nunca, raras veces. 
And what about usually? I usually just watch TV in my free time. Usualmente veo televisión en mi tiempo oh, libre. Usualmente, ¿verdad? Solo ve tele en su tiempo libre. ¿Alguien se identifica con el chico? Yes. Yes? Ah, ok. Ok, Manuel Romero también, right? So, do you, do you like exercise a lot? ¿Y alguien se identifica con la chica? Nobody? Pero no viendo televisión. <laughs> Just watching TV all the time, right? So let's listen this small conversation and then we are going to practice. Let me know, I please, if you can read. listen. Can you listen? Manuel, do you have a question or a comment? Mm. Manuel, hello? No, teacher, sorry. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Here Your we go. Is... You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? Well, about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice. Who wants to be Mari and Paul tonight to practice this small conversation? Rolando Guzman? Okay, you are Paul. Anyone who wants to be Mary? Oh, let's see, I have three, four. Yes, let me take note. So Jacqueline and Rolando in the first round, and then we're going to have Xiomara and Suleima. So Jacqueline and Rolando, can you please start? You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I live wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Uh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real coach potato. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Rolando. That was perfect. Very good pronunciation. Thank you. Very, very good job. So we have Xiomara and Suleima. You can start, please. Which which is Mary, teacher? Oh, okay, Mary. Okay, Xiomara, you can start. You are Mary and then okay. Suleima is Paul. Okay. Uh, you are very fit, Paul. Do you, do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lie away for an hour. Seriously? Sure, and then I often go in my skating. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. That was very good, very good to try, thank you. Thanks a lot. So can you identify some um, frequency advert in this conversation? Which is one? Can you identify some frequency always. adverbs? Always is one, yes, always. Which other one? Often, I often. Often, yes. I usually. Usually is another one. Thank you. Any Hardly. other? Hardly. Hardly ever. Yes, hardly ever. 
Okay, so let's continue learning about them. Don't forget I about hardly them. Ever Look, I have here these. How often do you exercise? And I have this example. I live weight every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often or I don't exercise very much. So we can answer in this way using this time expression every day. It means always, right? Todos los días, I live weight every day, once a week. Who know the meaning of this expression, once a week? Once a week. Anybody know the meaning? Una vez a la semana. Yes, una vez a la semana. And what about twice a month? Dos veces al mes. Three times a year. Tres veces al año. Tres veces al año. I swim about three times a year. Okay, now we can answer this question using this time expression. And I also have this, this other question. It's, do you ever watch TV in the evening? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? ¿Alguna vez miras la televisión en la noche? So, yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. So you say, no, I never watch TV. So do you have any question? What's the meaning of often? Sometimes, hardly ever, and never. So, Teacher, yes. ¿Qué diferencia hay entre I sometimes watch TV before bed, son I, and sometimes I watch TV before bed? And that is a good question. Uh, the Frequency adverbs sometimes can be places in the sentence different. It can be after the subject, before the sentence, and after the sentence. El adverbio sometimes puede ponerse en la oración de tres diferentes maneras. Puede ir después del sujeto, como en el primer ejemplo, I sometimes watch TV. Puede ir al inicio de la oración, sometimes I watch TV. Y puede ir al final también. I watch TV before bed sometimes. How often do you exercise? I... Significa lo mismo, pero podemos ponerlo en diferente, ¿verdad? En la oración. Solo sometimes. Los demás van después del sujeto. Any other question? That was a good question. Thank you. Teacher, may I say something? Yes. <laughs> By the way, I think that the only exercise that everyone do every day is with our fingers when we use the cell phone. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably you are right, right. A lot of people use the cell phone every day, right? So... They exercise the, the fingers a lot. But let's answer this. Let's listen to these examples. We are going to listen to these sentences and then we are going to practice. Do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always. Almost always. Okay, so let's see, how often do you exercise? Can you answer with your own information, please? How often do you exercise? 
Any volunteer to answer this question with your own information, please? Questions. Anyone? How often do you exercise? So you can say, I exercise every day. I exercise once a week. I exercise twice a month. Or I never exercise. How often do you exercise? I exercise once a week. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. Any other answer? I exercise at night, teacher. Uh, every night? Every night, yes. Okay. okay. Any other answer? I do, I do, uh, I do aerobics every day in the morning. Thank you, Jensi. Very good answer. I do aerobics every morning. Any other answer? How often do you exercise? What about the second question? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Do you ever watch TV in the evening? ¿Alguna vez mira televisión en la noche? I hardly yeah. ever watch TV. Okay, thank you for your answer. Any other answer? Help me with this. Any other yes. answer? Yes, I often watch TV in the dinner. What, what is the meaning durante? Oh, during, during the dinner? During. Yes, I often watch TV during the dinner. Okay, thank you. Then let's go with the next. Add period frequency position in a sentence. So this is the place of a frequency, an adverb frequency here. A frequency adverb is placed after the subject. So we need to follow this structure in order to make correct sentences using adverbial frequency. We are going to place the subject plus the adverbial frequency plus verb in the complement. Like these examples, who wants to read the three examples here? Any volunteer to read them? No volunteers, I'm going to choose someone. Jacqueline over this, can you help me please? Can you read the three examples here, please? Yes. Um, uh, reading. Yes, please. Okay. Um, he never plays baseball. We always go for a run and you hardly ever swim. Thank you so much. So you can see the subject, adverb frequency, Vert and complement. This is the structure that we need to follow. In the next one, we subject always at better frequency, go the vert for around the complement. And in the last one, do hardly ever swim. So subject do hardly ever at better frequency and swim the vert. Here is the section. Let's talk about sometimes. As you can see, sometimes is after the subject. We can use sometimes after the subject, like in this example, I sometimes go to a dance class. We can play sometimes at the beginning of the sentence. Sometimes I go to a dance class, or we can place it at the end of the sentence. I go to a dance class sometimes. Solo este. Adverbio de frecuencia es la excepción. Puede ir después del sujeto, after the subject, at the beginning of the sentence, al inicio de la oración o al final de la oración. Do you have any question about this? Question? About this two slides? No question. No question? No question. Okay. Let's do this exercise. We're going to have this speaking activity. Eh, do you ever practice sport? ¿Alguna vez practica deportes? Yes, teacher. 
Yes, okay. Can you tell me how often do you do that? We're going to use the frequency adverb. I have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. So we are going to draw some checks here. I usually practice sport. Okay, usually, I usually practice sport. Very good. Any other volunteer to answer? Do you ever go jogging? Rolando, tell me. I sometimes swing. Okay, I sometimes go jogging. What's the meaning of go jogging? Alguna Camin vez? Yes. Caminar, cam caminar despacio? Mm, no. Levantar peso. Ah. No, no, ah, really. Go jogging es salir a trotar. Trotar. Let's go with the next one. La siguiente sí significa levantar pesas. Do you ever lift weight? Hardly ever. Okay, I hardly ever lift weights. And what about swim? Any volunteer? Do you I ever usually swim? swim? Oh, I usually swim. Very good. I usually swim. Thank you so much for your answer. Uh, let's see. Do you ever play soccer? I never play soccer. Thank you, Jacqueline. I never play soccer. Do you ever go to the gym? I usually... Go to the gym. Okay. I, go to the gym. I usually go to the gym. I always go to the gym. What about the next one? Watch TV. Do you ever watch TV? I always watch TV. I sometimes watch TV. I sometimes watch TV. Thank you so much. Check your cell phone. Do you ever check your cell phone? <laughs> I always, I always. Like I always. <laughs> okay, always. I always, very good. Okay, now I'm going to choose somebody. Let me see, let's go with Rolando. Let's start with Rolando. Do you ever lift weight? I never <laughs> lift weight. Okay, thank you. That is the right answer. I never lift weight. Let's go with Xiomara Alejandra. Uh, do you ever swim? Um, I hardly ever swim. Thank you. Alejandro, do you ever play soccer? Alejandro Contreras, do you ever play soccer? Hello, Alejandro. Then Graciela Alfaro, do you ever play soccer? I never play soccer. Thank you. Stephanie Mejia, do you ever go jogging? Mm, I usually go jogging in the morning. Oh, I usually go jogging in the morning. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Giselle? Do you ever watch TV? I always watch TV. Thank you so much. Henry Lopez, do you ever practice sports? Yes, I always play soccer. I always play soccer. Are you a defender, a forward, or a goalkeeper? Yes. Delantero, defensa o portero? Defense. Oh, defender. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Do you ever go to the gym, Jancy? Do you ever go to the gym? I never go jogging. Oh. No, I never go jogging. Okay, I never go jogging. Nunca va a trotar. 
Is it important to do exercise? Yes or not? Yes, it's important. Oh, yes, it is. But, right? but I practice a sport in my house. Okay, which sport? Aerobic. Aerobics, okay, that's nice. So you don't need to go to the gym. Right? You can do it at home, that's perfect. Let's go with the next. Now we are going to practice using how often. Let's go with the next one. How often do you do these activities? Any volunteer to answer the first one? How often do you cook? And you can use this frequency adverbs to answer. Always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, or never. So say the whole sentence, please. Let's start with Rolando. Thank you, Rolando. How often do you cook, Rolando? I sometimes. Okay, I sometimes cook. Thank I you. Sometimes cook. Any other answer? How often do you cook? Let's ask to Manuel Romero. Manuel Romero, how often do you cook? I, I never cook. Okay, very good. How often do you dance, Suleima Rivera? I usually dance. Okay, thank you. Lourdes, how often do you dance? I always dance in my house. Okay, thank you. Now, can you please ask the question to one of your classmates? Let's say to... Jamilet Torres. Puede hacerle la pregunta, Lourdes, please. Cualquiera de estas actividades, cook, dance, go shopping, travel, watch a movie, play soccer, read a book, and swim. Jamilet, how often do you play soccer? Uh, uh, no. This is dumb. Well, you see, said I sometimes play soccer. Okay, Yamilet, can you ask the question to Yolanda del Carmen? Cualquiera de estas actividades. Thank you, Lourdes. Okay. Eh, Yamilet. Disculpe, pueden escucharme. Sí, la escuchamos, Yamilet. Puede preguntarle a Yolanda por una de estas actividades. Sí, no. Yo sí les escucho, pero no oh, me probably... Es que la apaga y lo enciende el micrófono. Ah, ok. Si gusta, le hago la pregunta a Yamlet. Ok, thank you. To Yolanda, please. The question is for Yolanda. Tell me, Yolanda, how often do you read a book? Uh, I usually read a book. Thank you, Yolanda. Puede hacerle la pregunta a Rubén Pérez, please. How often do you? How often do you go shopping? Mm. Sometimes <clears throat> go shopping. I sometimes go shopping. Thank you, Ruben. Now, Ruben, can you ask the question to Oscar, please? How often do you cook? Okay, in my case, I often cook when I return to late to my house. Okay, thank you. Now, Oscar, can you ask the question to Stephanie Mejia? Okay, let's see, Stephanie here. How often do you read a book? In this moment, hardly, I am hardly ever read a book. Okay, you say, I hardly ever read a book. Like us. Okay, very good. Now I volunteer. How often do you travel? Who wants to answer this? How often do you travel? Any volunteer to answer the question? 
I oh. usually go to travel. I usually travel. I usually travel. Okay. I, I usually travel. travel. Rolando said, I hardly ever traveled. And what about watch a movie? How often do you watch a movie? Any volunteer to answer this question? Yes, I watch. I watch movies. Thank you, Henry. I always watch movies. Any other answer? Swim. How often do you swim? I hardly ever swim. Thank you, Lourdes, for your answer. Thank you so much, guys, for your participation in this part of the class. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next thing. I have this small conversation practice here. Look at this question. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always, I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. So who wants to practice? Who wants to practice in this part? I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Thank you, Rolando. Rolando and, oh, let's see. Okay, in the first round, we are going to have Rolando and Giselle. Rolando and Giselle. In the second round, we are going to have Lourdes and Xiomara. And then we are going to listen to Leima and Jansi. So you can start, please, Rolando. Hello, my friend Giselle. Do you ever play sports? You're first, Mr. Rolando. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I'll play soccer. Twins, I quit. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good participation. Thank you. Yes, this word twice. I play soccer twice a week, twice. And until, I always sleep until noon. Very good, very good try, thank you. Then let's go over the next. Hi, Xiomara. Do you ever play sports? Sure, I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep on time noon. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Thanks, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much. And then in the final round, we have. Let me see who were the participants. Okay, we have Sulema and Jansi, right? Hello, Jansi. Hello, Sulema. Do you ever play a sport? Sure, Sulema. I play soccer twice a week. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. Do you often do your aerobics at the gym? No, I hardly ever do aerobics. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Suleyma. Thank you very much. Thank you for the ones who participate in this part of the class. That was excellent. Very, very good job. Thank you. Let's go with this. Another conversation practice. Do you always exercise on Sunday? And what do you usually do after class? 
And the first one, I have no, I never exercise on Sundays. And the next is I go out with my classmate about three times a week. Do you always exercise on Sunday? No, I never exercise on Sundays. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmate about three times a week. Uh, who wants to practice in this part? Okay, Stephanie and any other volunteer? Stephanie and Hi. Ruben. Okay, Stephanie and Ruben. Can you please start, Stephanie? Okay. Do you always exercise on Saturdays? No, I never exercise on Sunday. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Thank you so much. That was excellent. The last, the last two volunteers, the last two volunteers for tonight who wants to participate. Thank you, Rolando. And I have another one, Rolando and Yolanda. Thank you. Can you please start, Yolanda? Okay. Do you always... Always exercise on Sunday? No, I never exercise on Sundays. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmates about three times a week. Okay, Rolando. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Rolando. Thank you. Thank you, Rolando. That was excellent. So do you have any question about how to use the frequency adverbs? Do you have any question? No question. Cuando. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Eh, en el caso de las preguntas, son tai, se mantiene igual. Es decir, se puede utilizar al principio, eh, después del subject y al final de la oración. Oh, in, no, in this case, right? Uh, it's like... Do you sometimes, do you sometimes uh, go shopping, for example? Okay, su pregunta es si lo puedo poner acá. Sometimes do you go shopping? Or do you go shopping sometimes? Uh, we can do that, right? So. But in this case, because of the structure of the equation, it's better to use sometimes after the subject in equation. So do you sometimes go shopping? It's better to use it here in this way. The other option is, do you go shopping sometimes? In the other option, I guess we can use these two, these two ways. Do you sometimes go shopping or do you go shopping sometimes? We can use these both options. Any other question? Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Any other question? No question, entonces, let's go with this. Any volunteer, con qué frecuencia hace esto? Anyone? Listen to music. Always. I always. Can you? I always listen always. to music. Okay. What about this activity? Wash the dishes at home. I always I, I, I always wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I always wash the dishes. What about this other one? Clean the house. I, I always I, I, I usually uh I usually clean the house. I always okay. I always I usually what about this? How often do you do this at morning? 
made the bed. I always made the bed. Okay. Any other answer? I never make the bed, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have to do it. Eso tiene que ver con un libro que se llama Hace Dios la Cama. Y se refiere que eh, se refiere que tú tienes que crear pequeños logros. Y ese pequeño logro es eso, tender tu cama. Así se llama el libro. Ah, okay, that's perfect. It's the title of a book. Made the bed. Te preparas a hacer pequeños logros en el día. Very interesting. Thank you. You can share the name of the book on the WhatsApp group, right? Uh, talking about that, how often do you do this? Read a book. How often do you I do this? I always read a book. Yes, always. Yes. What about this? Watch videos on TikTok. How often do you do that? Eh, Lately, Lately, I always watch videos on TikTok. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are spending a lot of time on that activity. Can you wish? Okay. In my case, teacher, I never watch videos on TikTok because, in my in my personal opinion, right? I respect the others, right? But I I consider that it is in my personal I'm not interested. Wow. Lo que pasa es que él, él, él te visualiza cuáles videos te gustan. De repente a mí me parecen muchos libros o cuestiones espirituales, cosas así de superación personal. Entonces pues, ellos te van filtrando. Ah, okay, that's nice. So. Nice. Okay, very good. Thank you for your opinion. It depends. Yes, it depends on the person, right? We can use it for good or you can use it for uh, just like entertainment, right? Or you can have a purpose using TikTok. Uh, what about this other activity? Play basketball. How often do you play basketball? I never play basketball. How often do you watch games on TV? Hardly ever. Okay. Watch games. Hardly ever. I hardly ever watch games on TV. Okay. Do you have any question about tonight's class? This is the moment. A question, teacher. No question, is it clear? No question. No. It's everything clear? Okay, I'm happy that you understand this topic very good. So just to finish the class, what do you usually do after work? Any volunteer to answer this question? What do you usually do after work? Nobody wants to answer? If not, I'm going to choose a big team. What do you usually uh, do after work? I usually work. Okay. But it says after work. What do you usually do after work? Después. Yes. I usually sleep. work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I usually sleep. Any other answer? I usually cook the dinner. I, I usually take a shower. Oh, I always take a shower. Thank you. Now let's go with the second one. Any volunteer to answer the second question? Do you ever practice sports? Alguna vez practica deportes? Do you ever practice sports? I hardly ever practice sport. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jacqueline, for your answer. I hardly ever practice sport. Any other answer? Just one answer. Just one more. Yes, I do. 
I I once a week practice okay. sport. Okay, thank you. I practice sports once a week. Thank you. Number three, what do you usually do on weekends? Ya para irnos a dormir, dos nos quedan. Any volunteer, what do you usually do on weekends? I usually study on weekends. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Any other answer for number three? I My usually go always... away. Coach Potato. Uh, I watch TV. <laughs> I watch TV. Right? I'm a coach so potato. Always. I always go to the church. I always go to the church. Thank you for your answers. And the last one, how often do you exercise? That was the topic for tonight. How often do you exercise? I always. I usually exercise. I always. I usually Okay, thank you so much. Yes, tell me. No, nada, nada. Ya que, ya que limpié, quedaste con el pensamiento. Okay, no, comp compártalo, no, compártalo, nada. ya que limpié. I never exercise. I never exercise, okay, I never exercise. Okay, so thank you so much for your participation today. Just please don't forget to complete the exercise on the platform. It's really important that you start working on those exercises. If you can do it today after classes, tomorrow, um, at your lunch time, maybe you have 10, 15 minutes, you can start working on the platform exercise. So thank you so much for your attention, for your participation. You did a great job during this session. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So I'll see you tomorrow and have a good night. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Sleep well. Bye bye, Ruben. Bye, teacher. Bye.